welcome back to the Crafty Marathi YouTube channel. Today we're gonna spruce it up with some tree making. Yes, we are. So here, I don't know if you've seen this already, it's uh, the latest release uh, of uh, die cuts and it's so fun, so fun. I mean, look at that little tree, it's so cute. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we are gonna make one or two, all three today, we'll see. But first of all, um, we're gonna get all of these pieces out and um, then we are going to actually make our own colored cardstock by ink smushing. Yes, we are. So we are gonna get some goddess green and trinity teal ink on three atelier ink and we're gonna smush, smush, smush these down onto my uh, table. And then we're going to spritz, 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 spritz with a little bit of water to activate them. And then we are going to dab some watercolor cardstock directly onto these to create some fantastic sort of texture and pattern. So the fun thing with ink smushing is that you are never ever gonna get a single piece that looks the same. So this is, it's kind of a, a great exercise in letting go of control and just letting be. But this one, I kind of wish that I'd let it be. I know I just said that, but I, um, I decided to spritz a little bit more water on this uh, and just kind of let it hopefully soften up a little bit. But I really should have just let that piece um, that's to the uh, left go because oh, now that I'm looking at it in, in the footage, I'm like, oh, that was so lovely. But I am um, I'm adding here some like just extra splatters from like the extra uh, ink uh, smushing but I realized it wasn't really showing up it was kind of blending in a little bit too much so I decided to just dab 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 smush 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 some more and um yeah you will see I will go in with the spritz the spritz here and I really should not have but but you learn something from every session so what I learned from this was that although this came out pretty fabulous this one I'm definitely gonna use oh yes that is gorgeous and this one I probably will end up using for like I don't know some kind of like celestial sky or something because that that's gonna look fab with some like glitter on top but um I am definitely gonna use the green I'm not sure about the skinny one but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting our pieces and see how much we can actually get out of this and then we will decide what else we're gonna do so here I wanted to kind of I wanted to make sure that the pieces weren't all looking kind of uniform and also I wanted to keep some of that white space because it would kind of mimic snow, at least in my mind, it, that's what it's gonna do. So the white on the, the tree tops, not tree tops, what am I saying? Branches, the tree branches. Anything white, I'm kind of, I'm going with the, um, the creative idea that that is snow flakes or just snow kind of stuck in the trees. So hopefully that will make sense once you see the trees. But Anyway, we are going to go back and forth and we're gonna cut out as many pieces um, out of, from this actual panel uh, as we can. And the really fun, fun thing, I might've already mentioned this, but it really is so fun with the ink smushing is that you have such a different kind of opaqueness and texture in, in all of the different places. So it really does give a really kind of organic and lovely texture and color as well. But with that, um, I decided that I was gonna try to add uh, more snow, basically, with uh, by splattering more white on. So I'm putting some of my pieces uh, into my splatter box, and then I uh, I'm going to get some shark tooth white atelier ink, um, mix this up, and then splatter on this. I decided that that little top that didn't really need anything more because it's already very snowy. So here we're going to take our uh, shoe shark a tooth a white ink. We're gonna smush that onto an acrylic block. We're gonna add a tiny drop of water and then we're gonna activate this. And then we're gonna add a little bit more water because it wasn't quite wet enough. And then we're gonna splatter this very, very generously because I'm thinking blizzard? Yes. Let's, let's say that the, these trees have been out in a bit of a blizzard. So um, we're gonna splat it very heavily and make sure that they are very snowy and snow covered. And then we're going to uh, let all of these um, dry in the box. So try to resist the temptation of touching anything until it's really dry because you might end up with a fingerprint in your 
snow bits. And um, how I know that is because you will see a fingerprint in one of my uh, projects. Yes. So uh, there's a couple of big blobs of, um, of ink there. So it kind of dripped off my uh, little, um, my little, um, what's that thing again? The acrylic block. So it dripped and left a really big, I'm going to call it a snowball rather than a, a snow blob. So somebody is out there in the blizzard throwing snowballs at these poor trees, but oh wow. Okay, so uh, the extra little pieces that come in the set uh, are all like presents. There's a uh, there's a couple of different sized presents. There is some ribbons, there is garlands, there is all sorts of things. But I decided to just cut out a lot of presents in different colors. I have cut out a lot of um, garlands in silver, in sparkly gold, in um, matte gold. And I, yeah, I kind of went to town a little bit because I figured, you know, presents, everybody loves presents, right? So I thought better to have too many presents than not enough presents under the tree. I mean, I know it's a Christmas card and there's nothing in the presents, but it doesn't matter, does it? So we're gonna add all of these together. We're gonna glue them all down. We're gonna puzzle the trees together. And here uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the, the blizzard, my, I said my blizzards, but you know, the blizzard that I try to create for the trees. It's not as sort of heavy and, uh, and big as I was hoping it would be. But here on the one where I dripped the, the ink, it actually looks a lot better once it dried. So that's also a lesson in patience. Always let everything dry before you make any decisions, whether it's good or bad. So um, we are going to crack on with gluing all of our trees together and depending on how you stack these pieces you can get like a really nice sort of tall tree or you can get a nice sort of fat bushy tree. So depending on the size of the card you're going to make or the project you're making you you know you decide and you can actually add more pieces as well so you can stack it to make it a really really tall tree if you want to. So I've cut out some um, well, four. I've cut up four pieces of brown cardstock to make sort of like the, the trunk of the trees. And I decided to make them all different so that every single tree will be special and unique. So for this one, I decided to cut one of the, the trunks in, the, in half so that he's going to have a really skinny trunk. And then this one with like a nice thick one and then one with a really short one. But, you know, we're, we're going to make them all individual. And then while we are gluing those trunks on uh, onto the trees i always use liquid glue when i'm gluing things down just to give me those extra few seconds so if anything goes on not straight i can fix it so yes take it from somebody who's glued down a lot of things very wonky and very off kilter over the years if you need something to be super straight use a liquid glue for sure so um, we're going to start decorating our trees. And I, I was sort of playing around with some of the garland pieces and things like that. And then I, um, I also, I picked up, um, or I kind of found a little bit of a trick to make it easier to add these pieces because I realized it was very, very tricky to try to add the glue to the back of them because they're very skinny and you need to hold on to it. And it, it was just, it's a whole thing. So I, um, I tried this trick where I squeezed down a squiggle line of glue onto a spare piece of cardstock and then I dabbed the, the tinsel, tinsel or garland piece into the glue just so that it, it gets enough to stick down to the tree because it doesn't have to be super loaded with glue. It really doesn't. And um, you just need it to basically stick to, to the tree. And now here, here, haha. <laughs> Now this is a spare piece cut off from a card that I made um, quite a while ago and I couldn't bear to throw away this glittery rainbow goodness and it's actually come in handy. Oh yes. So I've got a hole puncher and I cut out as many circles as I could out of this and I'm going to turn these into baubles for my tree. Yes. So this is ink blended with a rainbow of color of the Atelier inks. And then on top of that, I have a uh, heat embossed, a glitter embossing powder called Halo from Wow Embossing. And it basically adds this insane sparkle to everything. 
So these baubles are gonna be colorful and sparkly. Perfect for Christmas. So I thought, you know what? I am so glad I didn't throw that tiny strip of cardstock away because now I have all of these amazing baubles ready to go onto my tree. So I knew there was a plan. I knew it. So we are going to take uh, a lot of the yellows because I there was a large sort of bit of yellow on uh, of that strip. And we're gonna add all of those to one tree. And then we're going to add sort of like um, a pastel-y rainbow of um, baubles to another tree. And then I, um, uh, well, we're gonna glue these down. And then I didn't have enough to uh, for my third tree. So I decided we're gonna use uh, something else. And I actually went for the gold opal um, gems to kind of make a really sort of nice, um, I wanna say kind of, classic color combination green and gold for christmas so uh, i i made quite a, I, i've added quite a few baubles because i thought you know what this let's, let's just go big it's christmas why not yeah so i've added a lot a lot a lot a lot of baubles but i really think it works and uh, the way i've done it is with all three of these all three of these trees yay uh, I have sort of placed the bauble so that it looks like they're hanging from the garland, which I know it's maybe not like super accurate, but I thought, you know what, let's just, uh, let's, let's, let's do it. And then I had a crazy idea. So I've actually added glassy, uh, glassy, no, glossy accent to these baubles and the pastel ones as well. And it just, oh, I wish you could see this because it really does look so incredible up close. It, it, it's given it more of like a, a 3D effect because it's actually getting that kind of like rounded uh, bauble look. And I probably could have done like another layer on this, but I thought, no, let's just, I'm not gonna mess up now because I have a tendency of going overboard. Yes, I know, I admit that. I have a tendency of going overboard. So I decided, nope, let's just rein it in while it still looks good. And then speaking of going overboard, yes. But look at this, doesn't that just look so festive and Christmassy and fun, fun, fun. And this is the one where you might, if you pause and look, you might actually see that fingerprint, but let, let's not do that. So now that we have our pieces ready, we are going to get some backgrounds and we are going to finish off these cards and actually turn them all into cards. So I have um, heat embossed some sentiments and um, and I, I thought I was going to use a lot of these presents because you know why else would I make a lot of presents. But I decided to actually just stick down the tree and stick down the sentiment and let the tree be the star of this card. It, it actually kind of, it wasn't really needed to put anything else on that. Um, even though you will see me faffing with a couple of presents back and forth, but I thought with that a lovely hot foil plate in the background, the all wrapped up, it's done with matte gold on white cardstock. It just really didn't need anything else. And sometimes it's, you know, better to step away before you go overboard. Yes. So I have uh, finished this uh, card just by sticking it all down and adding, uh, so obviously you will need a card base as well, but I really think that this card it, is, is so fun and I had a lot of fun making it as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching the process and I really, really wish you could see like the texture and the, the details in person because it really does look so, so fun. So for the second card, this is the one with the pastels. I have added that to another hot foil background. Hi! So this is mirror, gold mirror cardstock and it's done with the, the same hot foil plate. So the all wrapped up and with the rainbow foil, lots and lots of foam tape to build that tree up. It's another heat embossed sentiment. And that is, yeah, that's it for that card. Um, the final card is done with a different hot foil plate background. So this is the Jolly Holly plate and it's done with green foil on white cardstock. And it just, yeah, the, that green and the gold and the white, it just worked so, so well together. And I am I really, really had so much fun making these cards. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you soon again. Bye for now.